Hi y'all, how are you doing today? Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do kind of a first impressions on some products that I have. Um, spring, kind of a spring kind of look. Um, and some of these products um, I've used and I'm not sure if I, if I like them or not. Um, so I'm going to try them again and kind of tell you my thoughts on the products once I use them. And some are brand new. Um, some are showed in my uh, beauty haul. In my birthday haul that I just did from Ulta. So, um, my last video. So, I have some of those products in here. So, I'm just going to um, jump right in and get started. Um, the first thing um, I want to talk about is... <laughs> this is kind of funny, but... Um, so, you, like, if you're like me and you're a snacker and you feel bad about, like... We just started going to the gym a lot. And, like, I was really bad last week right before I went to the gym I ate like 20 ranch Doritos because those things are delicious and just kept going you know once you get started with those you just can't stop so I I bought these are Triscuits the cracked pepper and olive oil um and they're like 120 calories for like six of these things so and I was pretty full when I had like six so I was like dang like this could replace my trip my chip loving self so I'm gonna try and eat more Triscuits um I just want to this is probably like not a new product or anything like that out there and I want to throw in some stuff that's kind of off the wall too so you guys are like because I kind of like when people are like oh yeah I like that food or I like that um something that's not beauty related you know and it's kind of fun to, to see what other people buy at the grocery store or, you know some meals that they make or you know anything ring in them any kind of random thing um even like um like home decor for example I'm really big into home decor and I started the same backdrop down here um on my lower level um my townhouse so it's like I'm gonna bring some of my cute stuff I have upstairs down here so that's why I kind of switched up the background with some new stuff so um trying to make it show off that it's not like a dingy non-decorated place like Place is super cute. The lighting up there is just not the best. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to make it cute down here too. And of course, I'll fill my bedroom some more too because it's real cute in there. Um, so, I'm just going to jump on in and just get started. Um, so, I am going to be using that uh, Ultimate Brights palette, the NYX that I talked about um, in my birthday Ulta haul last time because I'm just going to switch it up and you know, it's not spring yet, it's snowed on Easter, and it's just a bummer. Um, so I'm going to try and make it spring by doing some colorful looks. So I'm going to focus on the eyes first. So I'm going to take some scotch tape, what I normally do, for any like intense eye look. So I'm going to put scotch tape in the back of my hand. And I got a um, massage today, and it was like the best thing ever, much needed. Um, and it was totally cheap. It was like, um, I mean, not like super cheap, but like for an hour, it was, um, $80. So I'm like, dang, I thought it was going to be like way more expensive than that. Um, so there is, I've just been really stressed lately. So I need something to, um, you know, just calm me down and it really helped. Um, and I, I took like three naps today too. Um, so that helped too. Um, so yeah, just put this scotch tape on up towards your eyebrow. And we are going to go in with a concealer. The Tarte Shape Tape and Light, which is also in my Ulta Beauty haul that I showed. This is my first impressions. You know I love this. This is my jam right here. So this is like my favorite thing. Favorite concealer ever. I doubt that I'll ever... Um, you know, not use this concealer. So just gonna spread that on there. And going on that tape too, so you get that get that real smooth look. And you can go in the inner corner too. Just smooth that like I'll just smooth all the way up to your eyebrow. Um, and then, I have 
have no idea what I want to do today with this eye look. I have no idea what color I want to go in with. I know I'm going to use this a lot, so I'm just like, I have no idea. I kind of wanted to do like a cool, like, orangey, yellowy look. Um, so I might do that because that's kind of springy. There's a lot of orange and a lot of yellow. Do an orangey um, look. So first I'm going to take... Um, just my normal can like press powder. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm all on the fit me um powder, and I'm like, ah, I need to show them something else. So I do on the RCMA. Um, this is a no color powder. It's like eight dollars for this thing. It looks like a looks like you're cooking in the kitchen with this, which is hilarious because it's called baking. So I feel like it has something to do with that, but you never know. Could just be the packaging they decided on. So I'm just going to dip this in here. It's really freaking weird packaging. So you just take a little bit and then just kind of tap it off in there. And then I'm just going to set um, that concealer that I put on just all the way up. Tap it up too. Put it all the way up just to give that great base because that's what you want. You want a great base for your foundation so it glides on or not you want a great base for your eyeshadow so it glides on it's easy to blend it looks great all right so we're first like there are like no names on these things so I'm just gonna probably like just point this is kind of like a um pinkish orangish I don't know if you can see these a little bit it's a top one I'm gonna go it's like a pinkish orangish look so we're gonna go in but this one's a transition color so I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush gonna just twirl that in there tap it off and just go right at the top I'm gonna just keep that twirling in there and on the other side too it's not a lot of pigment payoff with this a little bit and you can barely you kind of start to see it maybe maybe it just has a dip in first through the surface so it's a little bit orange and we're just taking that we're just going back and forth motions on the top just to that tape too make sure you get that tape because you want this to look dramatic and pop a color and I'm not really a color kind of girl so I love to wear black clothes. It's my favorite um, staple to wear black. I love it. Obviously, my hair is black, so you know I love black. So um, that's just my favorite. And then you can just dress it up with jewelry, whatever you want, just to make it really good. Um, and then next, I'm going to go in with this. It's like a um, lighter orange color. We're going with that. We're just going to swirl that in there. And just going on top of that so just kind of underneath of that top color just bringing that color down yeah the pigment is looking good like this is some pigmented eyeshadow it's awesome not a lot of fallout either so that's impressive and like I said I think this retails for like $18 so it's pretty good for the price point yeah I'm liking that all right, now I'm going to go in with a yellowish color, right? This one right here, the corner. I'm going to go in with that one, and we're just going to uh, put that towards the middle just to really give that dimension. So right in the middle. And like I've said this a million times, eyeshadow is, I'm just still going with the yellow. Eyeshadow is all about that blending process. It really is. It's all about that blend. So... Just keeping that there. And then I'm going to take a denser brush. And I'm going to go in with this dark orangey color here. And we're just going to take that. This is like a dense. This is a Sonakasha collection. I'm going to take this on the outer V. Wow, these are really pretty. And I don't, there's not a shimmery, um, there's like a shimmery pink. I 
just deepen that up. Now we're probably going to go back in with that, um, that blending brush just to make sure it all looks good. I'm going to actually take my finger and I'm going to go in with this yellow color because I want it a little bit more intense than it's showing. So I'm just going to take that right on the outer. Oh yeah, when you use your finger, these things, wow. That is some intense color payoff there. So far, I'm really impressed by these. And you know, I don't really go for colors like that. I rarely do them. So I'm trying to like get outside my comfort zone for you guys. And so just kind of slightly blending that up. Yeah, I like that. I think I might go in with the pink too, because why not, right? Um, so I'm gonna take this this um, hot pink color here, and I think I'm gonna take this right by that lash line there. So kind of just like bring the yellow and the orange together, just on that lash line, and then kind of put it towards the middle. And this is more of a precision, this is just an e.l.f. brush, I'm um, not sure the description on it wants to say. Just says eye crease brush, so just an e.l.f. brush. I normally use this on my under eye. Just kind of bringing that, keeping it towards the lash line, but then, and then we're going to blend this out. Again, so just blending it from the middle out, and then going up. You just want that dimension, so you want to just blend you don't want to like blend all the way from here to there because that will blend all the colors. So you just want to blend where you put the certain colors out. You just want to blend that out. And then you're going to want to take, we're going to take this uh, shimmery pink color with our finger. And just put that like right by the tape with your finger. Just because you get more pigment. So then we can blend that out. I normally wouldn't even take like a... Shimmer light. We're just trying some new techniques here. That's what we're doing today. So we're going to blend that out. This is very different looking. This isn't what I normally would do. So, but this is good. That's good. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. So, we're just going to go with it, I think. Um, I think I might take um, some more of that orange that we first started with, with that blending brush, just this orange right here. I think I'm just going to go right above where we do that color, just so everything kind of blends. Of course, you see anything that needs blended out, you can totally do that with this, with this um, brush, and with the color, kind of brings everything together. So it's like an ombre of yellow to orange to pink. So... It's different, but we're just, we're going to roll with it. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm going to take the tape off, and then we're going to do our foundation routine. So I'm just going to take this tape off. Just go slow with it. And there you go. Then you got a sharp line. You can always go clean it up, too, afterwards. Yeah, it looked pretty good, sharp line. So that's good. got to love scotch tape. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to do um, our fed. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair back. Um, so I'm going to use my mar cute marble clip that I talked about in my last video. I'm just going to put my hair back and then I'm just going to um, jump right in. We're going to be using the Smashbox. We're going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer Water from... Um, and so chill coconut. This was in my uh, birthday old haul. I was gonna spritz this on our face. I think we're even gonna like set this afterwards too, because we're gonna be extra today. So I'm gonna spray this all over my face. Smells. This smells like summer. Oh my god. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Yep. Um 
first impression, holy, holy wow, that is amazing. Okay, so you can like just kind of feel in your face, get all that going. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that. So I'm, like I said before, I'm not really a fan of some of these things, but I'm one of those people that is very judgmental and will use a product and then be like, oh, I hate this. And then use it like again the next time and be like, oh, why did I hate this? I love this. So I'm going to think mix two of these that I don't, not really a fan of, but I'm going to try again because everybody else loves these. I want to make myself love these too. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 710. And it's got a broad spectrum SPF in it. It has vitamins in it. And it's supposed to be lightweight, full coverage makeup, hydrates, and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins, and an antioxidant. And it is, it is oil-free. I cannot remember how much this retails for. Um, so this um, retails for $11.99. So it's um, on the more pricier side of the drugstore foundation, but not crazy because I think the like the highest in drugstore goes up to like 13 or something like that. It might be more. Than, it might be 17. The Lumi cushion might be like up there. I can't remember how much that one is. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna mix it um, with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. And this is five dollars, y'all. This is five dollars. I don't, I just, I'm not really a fan of it. it. It's sticky. It, I don't know. I'm going to try it again for y'all though. And this is called, and this is in the shade Shell Ivory. Um, what it's supposed to do is it's under seven, it's tested under seven light conditions. It has, uh, with top smartphone models with and without flash. Um, it's called Goodbye Photo Flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. And it's supposed to just make your face look amazing with this photo focus um form formula that they made so okay and it's got it's the only thing i really do like about this some people may not like this but it has a spatula so you just kind of like put it on your face so it's really cool because then i don't have to get the back of my hand dirty so i'm just gonna put this on my face just all over I love to use a lot of foundation too. And sometimes, you know what, you may hate foundations, but then if you mix them together, you're like, oh, dang, that looks pretty good. So we're going to mix both of these together. I've never done that before. I've just worn them separately. So maybe that will make a difference, but we'll see. I'm going to put this in the back of my hand. I really need to get a start a new palette, like, um, like something where you can like mix your foundations. I need to look into that because... Using the back of your hand sometimes, it's kind of a mess. Um, that Super Stay Maybelline foundation, which is like my favorite now, that's another one I wasn't a fan of, but now I love it. So it's really weird. Um, that one stains my hand so bad, and then I look strange when I leave the house because I can't get it off my hand. And of course, this isn't coming out, so that's why these pumps, they're good, but they're not good. So I'm just getting, and this is like a thicker. Kind of, not crazy thick, not like Milani, um, but thicker formula than normal. I'm like. Alright. Alright, and then now, oh god. So you know my real techniques, techniques, um, beauty sponge girl, all the way. This is my life. Um, oh, by the way. I try that trick that's going on on YouTube right now where you put your beauty blender um, in a cup and then put dish soap in it or any kind of soap, put water in it and then heat it for a minute and it's supposed to like sterilize slash fully clean your beauty blender. Well, it didn't work for me. Maybe it works for some people, but it didn't work for me. So I just wasted like all that time. And so, yeah. And then remember if you do that, just to make sure you you let it cool down before you squeeze it out because some people have been getting burnt really bad. But I'm wondering, because how I clean this is I clean it with um, olive oil and Dawn dish soap. So I'm wondering if I saturated this in the oil first and then dropped it in there with a Dawn dish soap, if that would do anything. Maybe. But I kind of feel like um, I feel better about it now that it's almost like sanitized, but it's not. Because like none of the stuff came out, so I don't know if it's fully sanitized, but 
since it got so hot, like the water was like boiling. Wonder if it sanitized it. Maybe. So anyway, sadly, I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to try this little dinky thing that Ipsy sent me because everybody said in the reviews it's amazing. This thing is tiny. Like, look at the size difference of these. And this is wet. Like, that, that is tiny. It's like a little baby. So, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Um, but I'm going to tell you what Ipsy sent me this, and it's called Her Minerals Blending Sponge. It says, see its streaks, the sponge works amazingly with your mineral makeup, liquid foundations, bronzers, highlighters, and more to make your skin look airbrushed, literally. The point it and applies, the point it end applies your makeup in those famously hard to reach spots like under your eyes and around your nose and mouth. The wider end is great for blending in blotting powders and creams for a diffused natural look. We'll find out, won't we? So I'm going to take this part here and then I'm just going to start working this in. Um, can't really tell. I feel like this thing is soaking in the product. I feel like I'm going to have to use more foundation because this thing is not. And it's tiny, so it's taking forever. So, hmm. You know? Yeah, like you saw all the foundation out of my hand. Now it, it's gone. Done so. And I'm not even like halfway done. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to use more foundation. I think I might just put more of the Wet n Wild on and just go with it. I want to like this. It's $5. That saved me a crap ton of money and spending $13 every time I, for my Maybelline stuff that I love. But you also get what you pay for, so. And I'm like a drugstore foundation and makeup junkie. Like, I love drugstore makeup. It's my favorite. Yeah, this is like not full coverage at all. And I know it's not the foundation, it's a stupid sponge. Okay, you know what? We're gonna use my real technique sponge. Let's see. If there's a difference. And also this dries like super quick. Oh yeah, there's a difference. Okay. So this is a fail. Don't use this. And look how much freaking product it ate. Like really? Because I'd be marks on my like beauty marks on my face and I'm like I'm not I'm not one to show those excuse me little blending thing <laughs> yeah this dries it feels I don't like this foundation and this feels tacky that's all right though because we have tart shape tape concealer that's gonna come in the clutch here in a minute, so we're gonna just put that on. To, I'm just gonna put this on all of my bad spots, and you know my highlighted areas, of course. I've got some major issues going on in my face right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. Like I got this weird spot that um. Originally, I only had like a little blemish, and then after I went to that, um, I forgot that massage done, which I went to a spa, it was a good place, it wasn't like dirty or anything, but this thing started getting really irritated and like hurting, and like got bigger and like spread, so I put some hydrocortisone cream on it, and I feel like it's better, but I'm just like, what the frick was that about? Um, so I think... Maybe the oil, because she massaged my face, which was real strange. Uh, but maybe the oil that she used um, did, like, something 
to it, like irritated it. But once I put the hydro hydrocortisone cream on it, it didn't hurt anymore. So I was like, alrighty then. And of course using that Real Technique sponge with that concealer, that back and forth pouncing motion. And that makes a creaseless finish under your eyes. This concealer, it just looks good with any foundation you use. It just looks amazing. You cannot go wrong with it. All right, so next I'm going to this. There's like a like a really really harsh line where that tape was, so I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. Just to blend that. Just blend it like a little bit. And you're really supposed to use a clean brush. Um, so I'd suggest using a clean brush, not this one that has product on it. Um, but, you know, man, I don't really go by the rules, so you don't have to either. So you do what you want to do. But yeah, I probably should take a clean blending brush and just go over there and go in with that. Oh, I missed a spot. Yeah, this is doesn't work. This is going in the trash can. That's terrible. That is some terrible. Real techniques, y'all, is the way to go. It's the best. I love it. Um, so next, I'm going to um, curl my lashes, and then I'll do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take this and just bounce it a little bit. We're bounced, and then we're gonna go in with our NYX Tame and Frame. Same stuff, different day. Y'all know I love my eyebrow routine, I do. And if y'all haven't checked out that video yet, um, do check out my brow video because um, it's great to know what how to do your brows, you know. That is the main, this is the main thing in your face. You can't have pretty eyeshadow, pretty lipstick, and then not do your brows. Because you're going to be able to see that. And it, it kind of eats your face. I mean, I would want somebody to tell me, like, hey, that looks bad. And there's a few people that um, I see or follow, you know, I'm just like, oh, maybe I should tell them. But then again, I don't want to, I don't want to be a B or come off as a B and be like, hey, you need to do your brows. So, I don't know how I... And, you know, you don't be a B and be like, oh, have you seen my brow video? Because people might be like, oh. I'm not trying to be a B. I'm just trying to help some people out, you know. Brows are on. Um, they're having a moment today. They were just like, I'm going in bold. I'm doing this. Some days, you know, they have their, their moments. But um, it's all going to look better whenever I do the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to I'm going to just curl a little bit more here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my face. So I'm going to take a big bronzer brush and I'm I know I use my Too Faced chocolate soleil bronzer all the time and I'm just like, okay, I need to I need to show y'all something different. So I'm going to show you something different. This is the Fish Positions formula. Um, it's called Bronze Booster and it is the shade medium What is this one? Medium to dark. So obviously you hit pan on it because it's good. You can get it at the drugstore. Um, so I'm going to take my big bronzer brush. And I'm going to just swirl that in there. Tap that off. And then just go in. Bronze that up. Because we want this bronze. Yeah, some of these your eyebrows are just like, they have a mind of their own, they really do. So, they just do their own thing. I 
bronzer on the chin. For today, too, I'm going to go in with the Hoola um, Quickie Contour Stick for my nose. So it's just like a, it's like a, um, like a ashy brown color, so it's not like crazy tan. I'm going to put this on my nose. So I didn't do cream contour anywhere else, but I am going to do my nose today just because I want to give it a little something. So I did, I normally go up, I like on the sides here because it looks really cool. Um, and then right there, um, this is, um, you know, just a technique I do to kind of help. Um, and then with this, I've never used it before. So I'm going to see how it blends out. So we're just going to take our Real Techniques blending sponge. I'm just going to blend that out. And you can always take like the side of your beauty blender and just kind of dab on there. All right, and then we're going to take a just... We're going to take this e.l.f. It's a defining eye brush. It's kind of got a curve to it. So we're going to take that. We're going to go in with our Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And this is in the shade Dolce de Leche. It's got that banana powder too. So that always looks good. We're going to take that. And we're just going to go down the center of the nose. So it gives that definition, and it's a small little brush, so you know it does. And then, of course, on the sides here. And then again, right here. This is supposed to like shorten your nose when you do that. And you can take any blending brush and just kind of just slightly go over that. But what's cool about the... Um, the stick, when you first go into it, it really helps the product stick on the brush. You just make sure you blend the side. Just so the sides don't look super crazy. And then we are going to um, take just take some banana powder in this palette here. And we're going to go in with... Concealer brush, and we're just going to take this, we're just going to run it here. I'm just going to pack that under the eye just to set all that, and then just clean up this area here. And what you really want to do when you're doing this is set your concealer immediately after you put it on so it stays all day. And then I'm just going to take this, this is tapered. And take this right down the middle to bake that area just a little bit, and then we'll dust it away. Uh, and then you can you can place this any area where you kind of broken out. So like that weird spot I was telling you about today, we'll just place some on there, and on any blemishes you may have too. Like once after you put your foundation on, I always like to set those areas just because it does hold all day. Um, and then of course you're oily. Set this area here down your nose. In this region and anywhere you know over here ish um okay then i'm gonna take um just a small this small little definer brush we took before i'm gonna clean that off real fast in the back of my hand and then we're gonna do the under eye i think i'm gonna do a different color i think i'm gonna bring in the blue since i'm wearing a blue shirt so we're gonna go in with um this color first it's like a tealy kind of color I'm just going to put that under there, right by the lash line. Just back and forth motions. I thought this might be a cool kind of look. And I love doing different colors on the bottom versus the top because that just really gives you like really neat dimension. And then I'm going to go with this darker, deeper blue here. Take that, I'm going to put that down. And again. 
on this side. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. So you just kind of want to maybe just flick it up right here in the corner. Just to give that dimension up, but make sure you have a tapered end. So you flick that up. And then you're just going to do um, an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take my Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade, in the Glow Kit of Sugar. And I'm going to take this white-ish gold color and I'll put my finger in there. And I'm just going to pop some on the inner corner. Pop some there. I'm also going to pop some on my, by my brow bone. You can use a brush, you can use your finger, whichever you prefer. I like to use my finger just because it gives it dimension. I'm going to dust away that product down my nose. And then I'm going to go in with the same highlighter because I like it all to match. I'm just going to draw a straight line down my nose and then just do right here. And then you can always take a brush, like the highlighter brush I always use. I'm going to just kind of flick it up just to really blend that product. Because you want the intensity, you just don't want... Um, you don't want to not blend it too much. Then just take the same highlighter, put it where you normally highlight. So there, your cheekbones. Cupid's bow. There. All right, and then next we're going to move on to eyeliner. So I have a new eyeliner that I showed in my last uh, video. It's the NYX Faux Whites in the shade Vanilla. So it's not a white, it's a... So I told you when you put that pop of color in... Do you see how this is looking? It's creamy. It's not as um, creamy as my ColourPop one is, but it works. And you see the different, well, maybe you can kind of see the difference between this eye with the white and then this one without the white. So it does give a pop of color. And it makes the color that you put on your eyes um, stand out a lot. You could do like a smoky eye and you put this on or like a red um, taupey brown color. That looks really good too. Alright, and then we are going to go in with a... Mascara. This is a new one as well. Total Temptations by Maybelline and Black is Black. And this one actually is supposed to smell like coconut too. So um, I can't really, I can't really make out the coconut smell, but it's supposed to smell like coconut. So um, I have been using this the past week and I really like it. Um, I don't know if it's comparable to like high end drugstore or anything like that, or high-end like better than sex mascara or uh, but I do like it so we're gonna just coat the lashes and I really want this to just be about the eyeshadow today so I want like just big fluffy lashes You, the reason you do this before you put falsies on is to coat them so they, they mesh well with um, the false lashes because the false lashes are, you know, made to be black. So you want to make sure that your, um, your real eyelashes and your fake eyelashes match. So just giving that some color and your dimension there. Just doing the bottom.
and we're just going to let this dry. And I am going to put some blush on. Um, so this is a Milani baked blush in the shade Luminoso. So it is like peachy, um, really glowy kind of um, blush. It's got like a, let me tell that's like a peachy sheen color. So I'm going to take just a blush brush and just kind of tap that off and then just place that on my cheeks. Just on the apples, just to give it a little glow. Because you can, you want your mascara to dry, so your eyelashes um, stick and everything. And we're gonna curl these um, too. So I'm gonna get into my wispy lookbook that I showed the last time, and I think we're gonna go in with this middle these middle lashes here, just long and it, they're just called Wispies. And they're by Ardell, is the brand. And like I said, this kit was $10 and looks pretty cool. And comes with glue, I just don't know if I want to use it. It says clear white. And, um, I'm going to just take these, so you're going to take them with some tweezers just to get those off. And then you need to like make sure they match, so bring them. Wow, I don't even need to cut these. So that's awesome. So I'm going to put the lash glue on here and let it hang out for like 30 seconds. And then I'm going to uh, place these on my lashes and hopefully it gives some um, dimension to it. I'm going to see if I can curl this real fast. You need to be careful to make sure that your lashes are dry before you curl them after you put mascara on just because they can stick to your curler and then you could rip some off. So you don't want to do that. But make sure they're dry and just be careful. Like even when you like lift away, just like lift away slowly so you don't screw anything up all right so we're going to put the lash glue that they gave us in the kit on here there's no crazy trick to this just put um you know the lash glue on there straight across if you want to put more on the edges you can About that birthday kit that I got from Ulta, the juice infused, and with a lip mask. So I did the lip mask last night. Um, it's just a big red lips, and it's um, just like jelly. So it's like it worked pretty good. Um, and then the dip and the juice infused lip oil is almost like a gloss kind of thing, but I don't see a huge difference. Um, but I think it's worth looking into. I love any type of mask. So um, you can see the difference. I have it on this eye. Versus this eye, um, they're very, um, they're like your lashes, but better. They're really pretty. I'm going to put the other one on. Y'all, these are beautiful lashes. I love them. Um, I'm going to curl them a little bit with my um, thing so they just kind of mesh together a little bit. The real one versus the fake one just to give it some even more oomph. And I'm going to tight line. Um, my eyes today just to, um, just to make sure that the um, they it looks really good up there and dark. So I'm taking Sex Kitten by Tarte. It's a little eye liner sample I got in my Ipsy bag. All tight lined and ready to go. Um, so they look really good. Then I'm going to take um, some lipstick. This is the Maybelline, what are these called? These are the Maybelline Color Sensational, and this is 940 Touchable Taupe, and I've just um, been trying this out this week, and I love it. Uh, it's like a taupey nude, because you, when you have like a bright eye color, you don't want to overpower the eye color. So 
a taupey like nude color. So it's like a nude brown color. And then we're going to tap it with a gloss. So overall, um, I really like all the products that I used, um, minus the, um, still don't like those foundations. The Healthy Elixir one I'm not a fan of, and I don't like the, um, the Wet n Wild Photo Finish either. They're just, okay, it just feels, it's just kind of tacky feeling. Um, and then I'm going to take the NYX Professional Shiny Gloss, and this is in the shade Natural, I believe. Let me see here. Yes, this is shade natural. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in the center. So it gives like a, it's more like a, a pinky new color. So it just kind of gives it more of a, a pink. I think it's a great pair together just because it really gives it a nice nudie color. Honestly, you could do like a bright um, lipstick with this and be pretty too. Loving this. Um, I'm going to go grab a brighter lipstick. Sorry, y'all. Just ignore my comment about the new lip with this look. We're we're going in. We're going crazy today. So this is ColourPop Ultra Matte uh, Lip in First Class. It's like an orangey pinkish color. We're we're going in. We're doing this. So this is what we're doing today. I normally like this when it's um when it's uh when I'm like super tan then it's pretty. Let's just look off with the Smashbox um water again and we're just going to all over face. And we're done. Um I did add some more blue underneath. Um, so I just took this brush again and just kind of went under there and you know how I am, I have to add more. So, um, this is the finished look. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I hope y'all are ready for spring. I know I am. So, uh, just, uh, let me know, uh, what you think of this look and, um, hope to do more and see you soon. Uh, let me know if you have any particular ideas for videos because I'm always open uh, if y'all want to see something particular, um, let me know. And um, have a great week. Um, enjoy your weekend. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.